Hello. Challenges have to be always accepted, then success can be expected. Am Mr. Srihari G. Rao, with a case study where the engineers and the laborers could overcome the problem of spring or seep. A site in Betadapura, Mysuru, faced problem of seepage of water during the construction of a two-story building. Special thanks to Dr. H. S. Prasanna, Professor in Geotechnology Department of Civil Engineering, NIE Mysuru and Consultant, and to all Geotech staff. Now let's get into the site. Work procedure for excavation at construction site involves understanding of center line and excavation drawings, setting out of plan on ground, excavation of soil and removal of excess soil. Excavation is the process of moving earth, rock, or other materials with tools, equipment or explosives. In the site, with the hoe excavation was completed. And note this point dear friends, excavation has to be carried out using hoe or by any other manual methods, explosives are not preferred in any spring Dewatering. Dewatering is the process of removing groundwater and superficial water from a construction site. Usually, this procedure is carried out before excavations, or to lower the water table on site. Dewatering methods can use pumps or evaporation. Here two to three pumps were used for dewatering. Removing water from construction sites is important to protect materials and to keep a safe workplace. Most construction sites require dewatering, due to the accumulation of water in trenches and excavations. Soling. Soling in the construction field is the bottom most layer of any component of the structure. Soling may consist of bricks, stone cutting or such other building material having good crushing strength. It is one of the most common techniques used for soil stabilization. Once the earthwork excavation work is completed for footing, next immediate permanent work to be done is boulder, stone, soling. After packing the stones properly in position, the gaps between them should be carefully filled with quarry spoils or stone chips of larger size possible to obtain a hard, compact surface. In the site, a thin layer of plastic was laid upon that sand boulder layer was laid up to 1 to 1.5 meters. As the seepage was continuous, dewatering and soling took place simultaneously. A seep or spring is a moist or wet place where water, usually groundwater, reaches the earth's surface from an underground aquifer. Seeps mostly occur in lower elevation areas because water runs down the higher elevation, but can happen in elevated area if the groundwater present is abundant enough. Along with natural seeps, man-made seeps can occur by digging anywhere where there is wet ground. This method can be useful for survival purposes. In the site. As per my observation and analysis, it is a depression spring. Depression springs are formed in unconfined aquifers when the topography intersects or intercepts the water table, usually due to the surface stream incision. As these springs are formed because of Earth's gravitational pull they are named depression or gravity springs. The flow of depression and contact springs may be increased by excavation to drain additional portions of the aquifer. Such excavation can be either by ditches or tunnels. Method adopted in order to avoid seepage water into the foundation pits. A spring box and pipeline are the most satisfactory means of delivering water to the point of use. The spring box or collecting basin should be designed and located so that water does not pond over the spring openings. Ponding above the spring openings reduces spring flow and may cause seeps to change their path of flow. Hence, this method can be useful for survival purposes. Not individual footing pits to be dug to a size more than the size of footing, a corner of the pit can accommodate a sump to dewater the accumulated water by a pump. Then, PCC of 100 mm depth is laid to receive footing steel, and later foundation and superstructure is constructed. Sometimes, you may also increase cement content of concrete, footings only, by 10% to overcome any cement getting leached out. Hence, dear friends nothing is impossible. It was a great effort by the geotech engineers, site engineers, and the laborers who could complete the major task which was the initial step of construction. Let us know the problems, which are encountered in the site, challenging one. Thank you.